My name is David Hesco Wombly Wyden, and I am just so delighted that my book, Spotted Tail, has been selected by the state of South Dakota for the Library of Congress Great Reads from Great Places. So today, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the book. I'm going to tell you about the life of Chief Spotted Tail, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the great state of South Dakota, and I'm even going to tell you about the state dessert and state bread. First, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Again, I'm David Heska Wombly Wyden, and I am an enrolled citizen of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe in South Dakota. In our language, it is called the Sichangu Lakota Nation. I am a professor of Native American studies, and I also write adult books. Finally, I have two wonderful sons. They're both teenagers. Their names are David and Sasha. Spotted Tail, published by Raycraft Books, is appropriate for anyone who wants to learn more about the life of this great Native American leader. So Spotted Tail was the great chief of the Sichangu Lakota Nation, and he was born in 1823 in South Dakota. His first name was Jumping Buffalo, but he later was given the name Spotted Tail after a French trapper gave him a raccoon tail that he really loved. Now, when he was young, Spotted Tail fought in many battles for his people, and later he was arrested by the U.S. government and taken to military jail. There, he learned to speak and write English, and he was later released. When he went home, he was hailed as a hero and made chief of his people. Um, Spotted Tail was a great chief. He helped to keep the peace for as long as he could between his people and the American government, and he even helped to negotiate an agreement that allowed the Sichangu Lakota people to stay on their homelands instead of being moved somewhere else. Spotted Tail was married, and he had 13 children. He loved his kids very much, and he encouraged them to study both Lakota culture and to learn to speak and write the English language. He did die in 1881, but today there is a university on the Rosebud Indian Reservation named after him. It is called Sinteglashka University. Sinteglashka in the Lakota language means spotted tail. How did you come up with the idea for the book? When my kids were small, there were no children's books that dealt with the great leader of our nation, Spotted Tail. And I was very disappointed by this, that my own children couldn't learn about our own great leader. And so I decided that if I was ever given the chance, I would write a book. And that's just what I did. But I want to tell you a little bit. I wrote the book, but there are two wonderful artists that contributed all of the artwork to the book. And they are Jim Yellowhawk and Pat Kinsella. And the book has all sorts of amazing artwork, including this page right here. The book uses something called ledger art, which is a style of art used by Native American artists. And the book is just wonderfully illustrated, and I'm so pleased by it. I hope that you will get a chance to read Spotted Tail. It is for kids 6 to 12, but I think it's for anyone who would like to learn more about the great leader of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. What is your favorite place to visit in your state? So everybody has heard of Mount Rushmore, and that, of course, is an interesting place to visit. But I'm going to encourage you to possibly consider visiting two other places. First, think about visiting the Crazy Horse Monument, located in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It is a monument still under construction of the great Lakota warrior Crazy Horse. In the monument, he is riding a horse and pointing to his lands. There is also a museum and a cultural center there. When this is finished, it will be the world's largest mountain carving. The next place I want to tell you about is a fun place to visit called Wall Drug, located in Wall, South Dakota. Now, it's not just a drugstore. It's a whole bunch of Western-themed stores, including an arcade, a gift shop, and even an 80-foot brontosaurus sculpture. I promise you that if you visit Wall Drug, you will have fun. There are official state birds. There are official state trees. Is there an official state donut? Now the official state dessert of South Dakota is kuchen, which is a 
German cake. And my own grandmother, who was German, used to make it for me. So I had one grandmother who was Native American and one grandmother who was German. And my German grandmother would make me the most delicious Kuchen, and I loved it so much. That is the official dessert of South Dakota. But South Dakota also has an official state bread, and it is fry bread, which is a bread made by Native American people from flour, baking powder, salt, and cooked in hot oil. It is delicious by itself, but it's also used to make wonderful native tacos. So I don't think that we need an official state donut because we have one of the most delicious desserts ever, and we have wonderful fry bread. So I hope that you enjoy reading Spotted Tail, and I do hope that you get a chance to visit South Dakota. Thank you.